you've been hard at work making new totally accurate battle simulator maps and now I'm going to use them and take all the credit. This is the Tabs World War 2 tournament with the Axis versus the Allies. We'll keep track of who wins each battle using this leaderboard and by the end of the video we'll know who won the second world war. Because yes, once again, this is revisionist history. All jokes aside, these Tabs mods are incredible and they will be linked in the description. Please continue to make them because it's quite literally free content for me, so thanks. So let's start this World War II tournament with the P-1000 Rasa, because yes, this map actually exists. Yep, so I wasn't joking, that's a P-1000 Rasa, and uh, yep, it appears to be trampling a city. Just so you know, this is going to be 100% historically accurate, so let's get started. As you can see, I've got a bunch of World War II factions, and today I'm not going to be using any stay banners, as they suck. Let's just fill the trenches, actually. And then at the back, let's get MP40s, and let's make the French defend this city. Imagine operating this anti-tank gun next to that. My expectations wouldn't be high, especially when that's the operator. So the French have got an enormous points advantage, so I'm going to give the Germans a couple more guys. Let's give them some cavalry. Why not? Why not? Because cavalry and this go together in a battle. There we go. Points are just about even. Let the chaos begin. Honestly, this map looks really, really good. Like the level of detail in the city alone would be impressive. I mean, look Look at it, it's really good, but the P-1000 Rata is just the, the icing on the cake. Right, how are the Germans doing as they come out of the trenches? Is the pathfinding gonna work? It looks like it actually is gonna work. Oh, yeah, the French anti-tank guns look like they might be quite powerful, it turns out. Well, rip anyone trying to get over that bridge. Hold on a second, am I seeing this right? French soldiers advancing towards the enemy? Nah, nah, come on. Actually, I take that back there. <laughs> They are absolutely destroying this. I mean, with the slight caveat of there being a P-1000 Rasa in the background and nothing they're doing here actually matters, they're still putting up quite the show. And honestly, I don't think we've got many Germans left here. On the other side here, the Germans are in the city. They've breached, but unfortunately, they don't seem to know how to- Yo, that guy took a lot of bullets, though. Oh my god. Well, that's one way to end the battle. Ladies and gentlemen, I never thought I'd see the day. The French just took down everything surrounding the P-1000 Rasa, and that is an allied victory. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Hacksaw Ridge. Yes, look at that. It's a very nice looking map. I really like these, like this little pathway up to the top. If that works, it's, it's not gonna work, is it? It's not gonna work. But if it does, I'll be impressed. Let's get these guys lining all these walls. Every nook and cranny, there wants to be like a, like a Japanese guy. Yes, okay, here we go. Tree sniper, tree sniper. They're all gonna fall to their death, by the way way, but tree sniper. Now, let's, at the top, we'll give them some, like, actual good units. Let's get some more SMGs there. That guy's become part of the tree. In fact, oh. yep, that is very unfortunate. No children for you. Now for the, uh, now for the unfortunate Americans that are going to be dealing with this. Yep, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Today, there will be one landing craft at Hacksaw Ridge. It's gonna be, uh, George Patton, General Patton, Desmond Doss, and then loads of Marines. Okay, there we go. That is one landing craft of American soldiers, like the best soldiers they can get, and they're gonna take Hacksaw Ridge all on their own. Well, uh, good luck. This is going to be an interesting- Oh my god, if they all die right away- Oh, what has happened here? What has just happened? Oh my god, something tells me they're not gonna be winning this. Oh my god, sorry, hold on, actually, some of them are still alive, somehow. Okay, so both the machine gunners are holding down the fort over here, some of the paramount Marines over here still going in. Oh, Desmond Doss is reviving General Patton. It's the dream team, boys. Nobody can stop them. Nah, legit. Like, what is happening? Oh my god. The tree sniper has had a bit of a rough time, boys. Let's see. General Patton is running up to the top. What's he going to be confronted by and can he survive? He's also got a considerable amount of artillery and infinite health. Yeah, mm, boys, I don't fancy your chances here, if I'm being honest. Uh, the Japanese have only gone and done it. Another explosive end to the battle. That, ladies and gentlemen, was Hacksaw Ridge and it was an Axis victory. No, sorry, no, it wasn't. What am I talking about? It was an allied victory. Very clearly an allied victory. What? At this point, I'm spoiled for choice. Look how many maps we've got here. World War II Pacific Front, we've got Stalingrad over here, World War II City. In fact, 
I think I'm going to click this one. You know what? I really, really like this one because it's not too cluttered. It's kind of like a city map, but you can still sort of navigate it and figure out what's what. So we're going to make the Germans attack a Soviet city. Yes, that's the idea. So that's it for the German invasion of Stalingrad. Quite an elite force. Not that many units, only 62, but 75,000 points. Now for the USSR. Let's see what overpowered units they have because I am going to try and balance this. Ah, here's Stallone. Let's get him there. This is going to be like just a ridiculously high point battle. If he doesn't just walk off the edge and die, the sniper could be insanely good. He could be absolutely lethal. He could also, however, just walk directly off the edge and die. I know which I think is going to happen. I'll let you come to your own conclusion. Okay, there we go. The points are pretty much even. So we're going to begin the battle and we're going to answer the question. Question! <laughs> Why? Let's see what these boys can do. The Soviets are actually moving in. Joseph Stalin, did he just drown himself? No, he's not drowned himself, but he's a little bit stuck. And uh, it's just it's just turned into chaos in the center here. Looks like the Germans are pushing through handsomely. Some of their grenadiers, some of them stormtroopers falling into the water. And actually, I don't know, this one shock trooper here is holding the line. How much longer can he- Oh, probably not much longer, if we're honest. Look at what's coming his way. Oh, no! Oh, one of the tanks has actually been taken down. Incredibly, the sniper is still alive, and he is fighting- Is that Heinz Guderian, I think, possibly? Oh, hold on. Mustache Man and Heinz Guderian versus- I can't remember the sniper's name. I'll be, I'll be perfectly honest here. We're just gonna call him Sniper Guy. Oh, my God, Sniper Guy just- Well, he just kicked the Austrian painter to his death, I think, is what just happened there, and then died himself. There are a lot of Soviet units dotted throughout the map that are just stuck. Now, whether or not the Germans can get to them and kill them is another story entirely. Heinz Guderian is fighting for his life down here, man. He is he is desperate not to die. Let's see if we can wiggle him free. We're gonna start trying to free up some of the units so they- Oh, okay then. Heinz Guderian is dead. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what, the tank might be- Yep, the tank is finishing off the Soviets. Can he get them all, though? That's the question. Looks like the answer is gonna be yes. Oh, sounds like something's happening and somebody's won. Ah, yes. Yes, that would be the kill cam right there. That was the kill shot. The Germans have taken Stalingrad. So that's an Axis victory on the leaderboard. Ah, here we go. Plastic Scott Okinawa. Now we've already had the Russians, the Americans and the French fight because this is like a combined, a combined Axis versus allies. Let's use the British. And actually to make this make even more sense, we'll use the British in like India and Burma. So we'll use some Indian units as well. And we'll see that the Brits are defending against the invading Japanese. So again, these are high point battles. That's the British and Indian defense on, let's call it an island on the Indian Ocean. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I have spent a lot of time crafting this formation. As you can see, every unit meticulously placed to get the perfect balance for this battle. Once again, the Axis versus the Allies. Let the madness begin. Oh my god, those guys jump, it turns out. I didn't realize that was something that they were gonna do. These battles truly have been absolute chaos, haven't they? What is even happening down here? I'll tell you what, actually, the Japanese might be able to bag this, you know? They're breaking through the line. That artillery strike that they've got there is pretty strong. How are the Indian soldiers doing, fellas? Okay, the Indian soldiers are having a hard hard time climbing up a small wall. Now, let's have a quick look. Is it is this? Yes, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. None of the machine gunners are going to be able to get out, and it's just going to be this horrible little bait trap for the Japanese to try and capture. So it'll be interesting to see if they can take this down. I think these are the only British soldiers left, so it's not looking particularly good for us. If the enemy has some sort of artillery, then the floor machine gunners aren't going to be very useful. Well, rip those guys. Oh, oh, actually, if they just killed the last artillery officer, then they might be good. Strategy, boys. Strategy at its finest. This is the definition of camping. Although the Japanese do still have a rocket launcher. What happens to this rocket launcher guy is gonna be make or break. Oh! Okay, he's down. Now we've got the machine gunner sit off event. Maybe if I pick them all up in a vacuum or something like that, it might work. Okay, well, that's one way of solving a battle. Why won't you leave the hole? Leave the hole. Are you, how heavy are they? Literally, look at this. 
Everyone goes up except them. How? How? Okay. That's one. Oh, where's this guy come from? Wait, have the Japanese got other units that I just didn't know were there? Because that could be clutch for the Japanese. So yeah, it's just literally, it's just one machine gunner for the British versus one machine gunner for the Japanese. The only fair way to do this is by like, is by kind of using the vacuum to pull them together. So I've kind of just got to do this and see what happens. Oh my God, how's the Japanese? Oh, the Japanese guy still got the healer though. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a catastrophe, which means I've got to do another battle. Yay. Ugh, the score is 2-2. What we're going to do is we're going to decide this battle in an arena because why not? So we're back in this theater map again, all of these maps and factions will be linked in the description because oh my god this is just incredible okay we've got our fight ladies and gentlemen general Patton over here versus Erwin rommel over here what better way to determine the outcome of this battle let's see who is gonna bring it home it's oh good lord they both have some pretty insane abilities you know this is why they're generals ladies and gentlemen you can't hold his weapon and uh Patton is arguably worse wow. so uh, my expectations for for oh good lord both of them survived that and they both scared each other oh what has happened to urban rommel he's he has become a boulder oh my god who won ah there we go Patton survives urban rommel goes down ladies and gentlemen that's three victories to the allies only two to the axis meaning the allies win world Hi. war ii again subscribe make me more maps and um subscribe